All right, guys, let's check out this Zelos Hammerhead 2. So this is the second generation of the Hammerhead, and there are a bunch of different colorways, as typical with the Zelos lineup. But uh, this one is going to be a super affordable one at only $449. So this one has the Seiko NH35 movement, ceramic bezel insert, and it has what they're calling the black sand dial on it. So we're going to talk about this one and what it all encompasses. First off, we're going to talk about the size of the case. Um, it's beastly looking for sure, but hold your judgment first because it has a little bit of a that Seiko magic almost, if you will, when it comes to like its wrist wearability. So the case size is a 44 millimeter. Lug to lug is 48. So that's pretty short for how stout this watch is. Um, even if you count the center lugs, they don't, I mean, they articulate, but they don't fold underneath. So even if you were to count that, it's only 51 mil, but I kind of wouldn't count it in this case because they do drop down so fast, so dramatically. Now the thickness, if you measure from the case back to the very top of the crystal is like 17 and a half. If you do the case back to like the top of the bezel up here somewhere, it's like 16 and a half. So you got like a millimeter of that is going to be the double domed sapphire crystal with AR coating underneath. 22 millimeter lug width, bracelet is a non-tapering, multi-link, so, and they're short too, so they're going to like hug the wrist really good. Um, pretty much all milled out clasp here, and the clasp is done a little bit different than I've traditionally seen with them. It's very low profile, and then the Zelos logo is actually in great, or like laser cut out of the uh, foldover clasp, pretty slick. So let's take a look at that real quick. You can see it's very, it's like, I don't want to say like thin as in it's really thin, but it's definitely thinner than what you're seeing out of the almost cookie cutter type class that you typically see on micro brand bracelets. This one's definitely a little more unique and I like the shape of it, the profile, and it's very um, fitting. Four micro adjust, really nice full over class double pusher there. So um, function on it is great. I ended up taking out... Uh, two links out of each side to fit my seven and a quarter. I probably could have maybe even added another link in. They are so short and then you could play with a micro adjust, but I have it in on one micro adjust. So two links out of each side and it fits great. You can see the links here are like super short. You can fold them over on each other. I used, um, talk about the hardware real quick and we'll get back to the watch, but the screw pins on this are really well done. And I used this screwdriver the 1.2 by 40 and it fit perfect in there because it is a, a fairly small screw head. So you want to make sure you have the smaller, really good quality, smaller screwdrivers. So definitely make sure you have that so you're not scratching the heck out of it. Although I, there's not a whole lot of polishing on this, even on the sides of the bracelet, it's still kind of like brushed. And then on the case, it's brushed. And then where you typically would see like maybe a high polish relief, it's almost like it's blasted, uh, more of like a bead blast finish. So it's like brushed, bead blasted. So you see that line, but it's uh, it's a different kind of defined line. It's pretty slick. I, I actually really like it. So the fitment of the solid end link is really tight to the case. And then, of course, you have, let's zoom in, you have that uh, this metal octagon type shape. I know it's not an octagon, but... You have this metal part here that doesn't spin that separates the bezel insert to where the crystal is. So that's pretty slick. It gives it a lot more dimension. There's a lot going on with this watch. And as soon as you look close up, you see that. So you have the applied Zealous logo. You have the applied indices. You have a fully loomed chapter ring on there that is also marked. And then check out those hands. So they're, they're high polished and they're broad hands with the hour being thicker than the minute, but there's three stripes on each one of them. So if you look closely, you can see there's like a bright white, which would be BGW9, and then you have the yellowish type bloom on there that's tinted. That's C3, and then back to the BGW9. And then you have a date cut out there down below very discreetly with the black date wheel at the six o'clock. Then you also have the same colored C3 loom on the crown and then a fully loomed bezel so this thing's gonna be a loom monster i can't wait to show you guys the loom shot 
Um, speaking of the crown, it is definitely oversized. That is a massive crown. Easy, easy to operate. Um, and you can tell there's really heavy duty good gaskets in there too because there's some resistance on it even when you're unscrewing it. And that's that gasket because it is a thousand meter water resist watch. So of course you're going to be able to hack it and wind it and all that stuff and set the time there because it's Seiko movement and then a nice smooth wind. I did get a full wind on this and I threw it on the time grapher. It's running at a negative one second. That's a dial up check. Um, I didn't check a bunch of other positions, but a negative one second right out of the box. Pretty dang good for an NH35. Now, if you look at the case back here, it's a really nice deep oil pressed. You can see the hammerhead sharks there. This is a limited production, 150 numbered case backs. This is number 38. Zellos Hammerhead 2, 1000 meter, sapphire crystal. Other than that, um, you really don't need any information there. And when you do that really good, smooth oil press type case backs on like this, it wears really good on your wrist. It's not going to scratch you and uh, dig in and pull a bunch of dead skin off your wrist and pack it in there. It's going to be easy to clean and it's going to be comfortable on wrist. Didn't mean to gross you out. Um, so let's pop this guy on wrist. Let me show you what it looks like on my seven and a quarter. And as you can see in the picture there, it does come with this heavy duty rubber strap that is thick enough and bold enough that it is also going to work really well on the watch. Um, maybe I'll plop it on there and show that to you. It also comes with all of their watches, as far as I know, come with this really cool pressed out um, copper type uh, warranty card. And you can see there, there's the date, one year limited warranty, Zelos, and this is number 38. And then it also comes in, if you're not familiar with the way Zelos packages it, they give you this uh, pretty nice acacia wood box. Um, and if, if you're not familiar with acacia, it's actually a really good high quality wood. Um, a lot of people use it in their homes for flooring, including myself. And then uh, it comes with this watch roll here. So a lot of extra stuff comes with it on top of the fact that they're really well-built watches. So you can get this one, I believe you can get it with an ETA movement as well. That's definitely going to jump the price up. Um, this one with NH35 would be totally fine with me at a price point of $449. It's below that $500 mark, and that's my sweet spot for sure. You can see on wrist here, um, and I'm going to show this next to like a Seiko SKX so you can get some size proportions, but it is a 44 by 48 watch. I think, and I'm not going to say it competes with the Marine Master 300, but that's the only watch that I can think of size-wise and, and uh, overall feel on wrist that I would like to see this next to. So here it is next to the SKX. You can see size-wise, it is a touch bigger. It's definitely thicker. But on wrist, I'm telling you guys, it wears great. It balances out because it is a little heavy. Um, I can give you a weight here. Let me turn my scale on. So the weight on this sized for my wrist is 248 grams. In comparison, the Seiko SKX with the factory Chintzy Jubilee bracelet is 140. So this thing weighs 100 grams more. Um, it is a tank of a watch, but it balances out really good. So um, if you're interested in one of these, you might want to check it out. It also has the helium escape valve. I mean, you have to have that basically in this really thick heavy-duty construction, the really thick sapphire, all of that, and the really good gaskets to achieve that 1,000-meter water resist, and they have done that. So I think I covered everything. Uh, big thanks to Zellos for sending this over. Um, as always, I love seeing their new watches. They are turning out some amazing watches at like incredibly low prices for what you're getting. Um, they're definitely, um, I think, top tier when it comes to some uh, great value watches. I mean, there's a ton of hardcore um, uh, Zellos fans out there. I can think of one off the top of my head, my buddy Dane, that runs the uh, Celine um, driver channel. Maybe I screwed that up. Did I? Yeah, no, I didn't screw that up. So 120-click uh, bezel rotates good. Now let me show you that loom shot because this is a loom junkie's dream watch right here. So you can see it's fully loomed out. Hopefully it's coming through really good because that chapter ring is BGW9, so it's definitely got a, a bluer look to it. And then it's a little hard to see it on the hands sometimes. Um, I think you guys can see it on camera better than I can even see it in the naked eye. This camera's 
picking it up in low light really good. But um, you can definitely, once your eyes adjust to the dark, you can definitely see all of the little nuances and uh, loom parts that they did with this. It is so good. And then, of course, the loomed crown, um, if, it, if it'll focus. I know it's dark, but yeah, this is just a loom junkie's dream. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next vid.